Star Star. Is this a healthy breakfast? Hell no. Is this the only thing that got me out of bed this morning? You bet your ass it is. <laughs> or once I hit about 26, I started getting two day hangovers and I am. Um, this one's no exception. <laughs> well, today's a weird day. It is half past 12 and all I've really done today is got ready, which is nice. It feels nice. I've got, I've got some like other videos I'm planning and, and, and I wanted to have my nice backdrop, but I didn't put it up, but I didn't, but I got ready to film. <laughs> I've also not done my planner. We've, we've done like basic morning things like breakfast and walk star, but it's now almost lunchtime and I'm like, should I now be thinking about lunch? But doesn't feel like it's past nine o'clock. I try and have a routine and I, I've got like the time blocking in my calendars, but not having any external forces, like not having meetings or even just like a manager being like, oh yeah, you need to be online by these times. It's leaving a lot of, I'm gonna put you guys on a stand. Much better, there we go. So yeah, it's leaving a lot of time for like, for procrastination, for doom scrolling, for even just taking a little bit longer to get ready than normal because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with my hair. It leaves time for that. There's no rush to get to the door. There's no rush to beat traffic. There's, I suppose, no external pressures to do things at a specific time, which I am not used to. If I get yogurt in my shirt. But now I'm not working. I don't have external pressures. I, I, I have the once a week upload, but if I miss one, the only person I have to hold myself accountable is me. If I take a bit longer to get started on the DIY, again, the only person I have to keep accountable is me. Even my dog, my dog doesn't even like going outside, so I don't even have any pressure from her to go a walk, get her outside. All of that has to come from me. And it's a lot. You know, I do things like I have my planners, I time block, I do all the typical, let's get focused, let's get organize things you know i have i have notifications pop up on my phone i have my social medias time out during the day i do all the things that are meant to help you be productive and focused and i still struggle a lot i can't seem to find the end of that rant but basically mornings are hard motivation is low and i don't have a clear fix right now <laughs> Screen protectors are here. day of filming went well. We got one one full video films, obviously still need to edit it and everything. Um, and now I, I have a couple of ideas for the next one, but I'm not quite sure what one I should film. So I popped a wee pull out on my Discord to see what they would like. There's just chewing away in her crate. Munch, munch, munch. And then have a friend coming over for dinner and to stay tonight. Just just waiting on them. They're gonna bring the food, I'm gonna cook, and yeah, we're gonna have a nice wee chill night together. It'll be cute. So I'm gonna get editing the last week's DIY. Yeah, get a head start and all that. Which hand? Yes, good girl. Which hand? Yo, yes. And it is oh my god, is it Tuesday? Wednesday? Wednesday. So we've got a shortened week and then we're off on holiday at the weekend. So I need to have everything prepared for them. I feel like there's so much to do this week. We also had some guests staying over. So, you know, we've had to get somewhere for them to stay and then we have to take it apart so I can do more in the room. Just a lot, just like a lot going on. Also, I'm really loving my hair like this. I got it really curly on Sunday and I'm really loving just the pile. Yesterday we were all dolled up to do some filming. Today we're in the DIY gear and I would like to get the painting finished in the back room before we head away. So the towel is completely done. So the the kind of yellowy colour is going to be above the bed highlight. So we need to do a second coat on the rest of the walls and the ceiling. And then we need to do the feature paint. It's already half 11. I feel like I'm moving so slowly this week again. 
He's kind of like, ooh, ooh, ooh. So let's get going. Well, after set up, lunch, uh, dog walk, dog training, and probably about four or five minutes of doom scrolling, we're finally ready to get going. <laughs> it's now two o'clock. done but I still have a whole wall to do tomorrow. Yay. But just see the line? That line is making me very sad. I caught the wall as I was rollering the ceiling and I don't know if I've got any of that paint open and available. Bye, this is almost empty but there should be enough in there. The brush is a little bit crispy. I think I can make this work though. So let's let's sort this out. Nope. Just Always leave ladder space around every single bit of furniture. There we go. Noise. Fixed. That's now pretty much five o'clock. So I think I'm going to leave it there for today. The paint's still too wet for me to add on the feature paint tape. And that's pretty much all I can do at the moment. So we'll do that tomorrow. Need a bit of a process tomorrow though. So we'll need to do tape, wall, tape, no, sand, tape, no, tape, paint, sand, paint. <sighs> okay, we can make this work. I should go write this down. I want to get this done. That's that's all the day I for today. I'm gonna go put, cut him a puppy. Boop, 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 boop. First up today, fixing where the paint had bubbled. Started out by sanding the edges of the bubbles so it was a smoother gradient from the new paint to the old. Next got my trusty wall filler and spread it all over the indent, trying to get it as flush to the new paint as possible. Once that was dry the next day, then took my finest sandpaper and gently sanded it down. And finally we're onto the paint. Did a first coat with the brush to make sure all the filler texture had been covered over and that no more bubbling was gonna appear. And I did the same steps for every bubble along the wall. And then it was back to the full second coat. I'm trying so hard not to freak out right now. This bubble hole in the wall just started bubbling again. The other two that were over by the door seem okay. And weirdly enough, it was like just the fire on ball that popped off, not like the, the hundreds of layers of paint that were underneath. This wall officially just confuses me. <laughs> like why is the fire on ball now bubbling? It's, it should be the top coat. So I still don't know why the top coat bubbled, but my theory about how to fix it worked. I thought it might be something to do with cold or damp, but either way, all of that can be fixed with heat and I needed heat quickly and fast. And I had a heat gun. So I blasted the heat gun right where the bubbles were and kind of around the area as well. Don't think this is a good solution for larger areas like with the hall or with the plaster patch that was in this room. But for little bubbles that popped up like this, it's great. It worked so, so well. I was so happy. It's definitely not perfect. You can see the wall goes texture, 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 textured, and then we weirdly smoothly, and you can still just about see the outline. But when you zoom out, I mean, you can still kind of see it, but it's not nearly, I don't think it's that obvious. Like if I stand back here, I'm struggling to pick it out on camera. That's not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Where is it? Yeah. Paw. Other paw. Thank you. High five. Thank you. High five. Yes. Good girl. Can we spin? And other spin. Mwah. Time to try this again. So if anyone watched last week's video, you will remember that I started to put up the feature wall and then realized I didn't need to yet because I could just paint the tallow over the borders. But now it's onto the stripes, so we've got to get these bits of paint straight. 
Do that by first pinning a bit of string to the ceiling and then letting the ball of string go down and use gravity. Use that as a line and just slowly, gently push my tape along the string line. I also make sure to de-sticky my tape, you know, the technical term, using either my dungarees or my arm, just so it's not too sticky and gets too stuck to the wall. I do still want to be able to peel this off at the end. This is now absolutely terrifying. But hold up, I'm not quite ready for the feature wall colour yet. First, the trick to getting crisp lines with tape is actually putting the existing wall colour over the tape first. This seals up any gaps you might have missed and any chances of leaking paint will just be the wall colour that's already there. I can't remember where I found this trick, but it is genius. I've used it a couple of times now and it works wonders. That's been four hours now since the edge paint went on, so it should be time to recoat. I'm very excited. That is if I can find the terracotta. It's not any of these tubs here. Not any of those tubs over there. Not in here, not here, not down the back there. What have I done with this paint? It's definitely not in here. I just cleared all the paint tubs out of here. Where's the paint tub gone? Found it. Apparently I'd never taken it out of the garage. Definitely gonna need a second coat, but when I say I'm obsessed, I am obsessed. I loved watching this clip and seeing the second coat go on. You can see how pale the paint is compared to how dark it dries down. I did a little test piece and it came off really well. So I think we're just gonna peel the rest of them and hope it all goes just as well. Now this might look quick, but it's actually painstakingly slow. You've got to be so careful when peeling these off. Here's some in real time so you can see just how long this takes me. I also think I have quite an unusual technique when painting up walls. I never fully seal down the side I'm not painting against. It means the tape's not stuck to the wall and also gives me good leverage at the right angle so the feature wall colour doesn't peel away. There's always the concern here that either the feature wall paint will peel away further than the line you want or the paint underneath will get stuck to the tape. There's a very delicate process. I'm so freaking happy with this. It looks so good. Oh, only 12 o'clock. I have my uh, shorter detangling sessions. God, this is how big it is with all those oils and creams. Can you imagine if I don't use it? It just goes like. Oh, hold on. Hi. <laughs> I've really got to start remembering to film the end of the week. Oh, well, that's everything for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in to my art and DIY. Hope you have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.